Hey guys! Today we're making this Annabelle inspired doll. This isn't supposed to be an exact copy of her, but if you want, you can definitely spend more time than I did to get a more accurate result. You want to begin by mixing a light flesh tone for the doll itself and then start sculpting the face. The eyes are just pre-baked pieces of white clay. I then pre-baked that for a couple of minutes and after baking I added clay to the back of the head, I also added the ears and the neck. And before baking the head again, push a head pin through it like this. I'm not going to go over how to sculpt the body in this tutorial because I recently posted a creepy doll tutorial which is pretty similar, so I'll link that in the info box if you haven't seen it. You also want to make holes for the arms and legs. I chose to use one head pin per arm and leg, but you can also have both arms and one head pin and same for the legs. Once you've baked everything, you can put the body parts onto the head pins, bend the ends and cut off any excess. 
For the colouring I used soft pastels mixed with water and applied it with a small brush. It's supposed to look rough. Make sure to seal with glaze when you're done. I also added details to the eyes and lips using acrylic paint. For the hair I used mohair and I have a tutorial showing how you can add hair to dolls so I'll link that in the info box as well. The main difference is that for this doll I made a much more simple and rough looking parting line. I also added brown acrylic paint to the hair. This is not only going to give the hair the right colour but it's also going to act like a hairspray. And here you can see the colour difference after I added brown acrylic paint to the bangs. And then for the dress I took some white fabric and cut out four pieces. You'll need two rectangles for the sleeves, one piece for the chest and one for the skirt of the dress. For the sleeves I first added glue and folded them to make tubes. I then cut one side and glued this to the chest of the doll. After adding the sleeves, I glued down the chest piece and lastly I added the skirt. For details on the dress I used some white trim, some 3mm ribbon and some red and white thread. And to finish off I just used soft pastels to stain the dress.